and seeing certain things in that trailer, I'm literally like, when? So in April, I watched the Ahsoka teaser trailer, and two days ago, the Ahsoka official trailer came out, so here I am watching the new trailer. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not exactly excited for the show, you know, Star Wars has been really on and off lately, especially with, uh, you know, Disney. Disney doesn't know what's doing half the time. But, I wanna watch this trailer to see if I get excited or something, or I get hopes that this will be good. So, for those of you who have watched my trailer videos, you guys know how it goes, but for those of you who are new, I watched the video or the trailer twice, and the first time, I don't say anything at all, I just, I watch it, and then I talk about it a little afterwards, and I watch it a second time, and I talk a little bit, I might point out a few things, and then at the end, we just, I just talk about it. So, that's what we're gonna do today. First time, not gonna say anything. Alright, two minutes. War is inevitable. One must destroy in order to create. We are no Jedi. I started hearing whispers of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. What happens when we find Thrawn? Power. Such as you've never dreamed. I've spent most of my life fighting a war. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's still just as stubborn as ever. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him, just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. Master. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Nice haircut. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Buckle up. If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. You have no power. Anakin spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Okay, um, hold on, hold on, let me, let me, okay. I'm not gonna talk too much because honestly, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Bro, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be straight with you. I, I haven't watched Rebels. I watched clips, like I've seen clips around and I've also, I think when I was like younger, I watched like the first two episodes or a few episodes like i've seen it on around but i haven't actually sat down and watched rebels through the like the whole way through i have no idea what the rebel story is about and seeing certain things in that trailer i'm literally like when i don't know if i'm gonna get this show like honestly do i have to watch rebels first like to people who have watched rebels like do you i mean i know the show hasn't come out but like i feel like i might have to watch rebels first and i haven't even caught up with a lot of Star Wars shows that been, have been coming out. I mean, I'm looking at the comments and a lot of Rebels fans have been talking about the show a lot. Like, they're excited for this, which means, like, I feel like this show is really appealing to Rebels fans and <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, like, I don't, like, wait, Sabine? Like, she had a lightsaber? Like, okay. Let's just, I'm just gonna watch the trailer again, and this time I'm allowed to talk. Did that always exist, man? That's the question, like, did she get a lightsaber at the end of that series? I, I don't know. War is inevitable. One must yeah, I'm interested in these people, honestly. In order to create. Like, the orange lightsabers and everything. We are no Jedi. Like, what's going on with them? I started hearing whispers 
of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. What happens when we find Thrawn? Power. Such as you've never dreamed. I've spent most of my life fighting a war. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's still just as stubborn as ever. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him. Just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. Master. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. <laughs> She's a Mandalorian, right? Wait, is it a Mandalorian I... Jedi? Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Buckle up. If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. You have no power. Literally, Anakin what? Spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. That's familiar scene. That's a familiar scene. That's like the in the Kenobi trailer when, or not even just in the Kenobi trailer. I was just in the show. The Grand Inquisitor like had that same thing. Did that exact same thing. Okay. I have a, a, a lot of questions. I'm not gonna go too deep into it because I, I barely know what's happening or what I'm supposed to be talking about. It's more of like less me like even reviewing the trailer or talking about what I think is gonna happen. I'm just, I don't know what's going on. <sighs> I just, I don't. I don't know. I have so many questions. Okay, one question I have, because I haven't watched Rebels, like, I have no idea what time period this is. Is this after Return of the Jedi or, like, before? I have no idea, like, when this takes place. This is definitely, like, an extra season to Star Wars Rebels. I can already tell. I really gotta watch Star Wars Rebels. I'm not even kidding. Like, bro, Sabine, I didn't know she was a Jedi. And the whole Master thing, and, like, Ezra's a Jedi. But she's a Jedi. And like she's calling Ahsoka master, but Ahsoka's not a Jedi master. She she didn't finish her training, so like, how is this gonna go? Oh my, I don't even know. And then the people who seem like they're gonna be the villains in the story, like orange lightsabers, and they claim to not be Jedi, but at the same time, I'm not sure if they're Sith. Like I really don't feel. I'm not getting that vibe that they're Sith. Like what? are they i'm gonna have to like watch this trailer a few times because honestly this wasn't a bad trailer like i'm actually like now want to figure out like what the show is at first i didn't really care but now i really want to figure out what's what's what this show is going to be about i'm not exactly like excited when it comes to like shows like star wars shows i never have high hopes really because hit or miss that's how disney does it but i do want to know what's going on i don't know what to say i was expecting to like talk about what i think the show is going to be about i i don't know i mean of course it, it's looking like sabine and ahsoka are gonna have like a master padawan thing going on but since when did sabine like i never was this okay did this happen in rebels or was it hinted at in rebels like because I, I don't know what's going on man it's kind of sad that that one dude um the guy this guy the one ray stevenson plays like i mean ray stevenson passed away not too long ago and the show didn't even get to come out yet so that sucks i definitely hope this is good in his honor it'd be a shame if this movie or i mean not movie this show was bad i i think i think what i just what i'm concerned about when it comes to this show is that disney just has a tendency to milk things and like i i feel like they've been really trying to milk ahsoka because she's a beloved character and i really hope that they don't do her wrong i really hope they don't 
mess it up. I haven't watched The Mandalorian Season 3, but the fact that it even exists, The Mandalorian Season 3, is just proof that Disney loves to milk things. Because Baby Yoda came back. Season 2 of The Mandalorian was a perfect way to end that show. And they kept going. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just... Disney. They better, they better do it right, that's all I can say. I don't really have any more comments on this, I'm just- I'm lost. I'm asking questions, I'm not commenting on this, I just have a lot of questions. And maybe no one else knows what's happening either, I don't know. I would like to have like a discussion about this in the comments, that would be really cool. Yeah, but the trailer definitely got me, like it definitely got me like, ooh, like what's- what's going on? It got a reaction out of me, I wasn't just sitting there the whole time like, it definitely got something out of me. I hope you guys enjoyed this trailer reaction though. If you did, like it, subscribe if you want more content like this, and I will see you guys next time.